Hiya! Welcome back. We're going through another Zen Pop stationery box. It's actually the first one of the new year. Yeah, seems like only yesterday I was opening up the January 2020 box. What a different time. Let's open it up, take a gander at the contents, and then we'll try and do something creative with it. Who knows what that'll be? I sure don't. <laughs> A little advertisement for more Zen Pop stuff. I also have the menu with the items. I'm seeing some pinks and blues. Okay, so we're inside. Let's see what we're working with here. This is. <laughs> Who knows? It's all written in Japanese. If you didn't know, this is a box of stationary items directly from Japan, so that would be why. Oh, it looks like it's this thing. It's number five. The Sumiko stamp. Oh, it's a stamp. Let's see which one we got. Reminds me of Kinder Eggs. Here's all the different ones you can get. So which one did we get? It looks like a little poof ball with a magic wand. It's number six. And then you can see the stamp. It looks like it's a gray stamp. I wonder if ink came with this. Otherwise, I'm sure I can make something work. How cute is that? All right, let's dig in a little deeper. This looks like a little note paper. Oh, and envelopes. Beautiful, what is it, what is it? So there's special envelopes from the Japanese tradition of giving out money on the New Year holiday. Oh, and there are little seal stamps that are completely clear. I like the squareness of the envelope. And then there's a fun pattern with the cow. Is it the year of the cow? I don't even know. It is the year of the cow. How did I guess? These are really cute. I love the pattern and like the equal space between all of the objects. Place that there. Yellow. What's this next? This is the Kiritoga 0.5 millimeter pencil, I believe. Oh, it's one of those ones that like twists and has like a edge on the lead that keeps rotating. So you always have that point, I think. And it's got those fun Sumiko characters on it. It doesn't have our little dust bunny. Oh wait, no, that thing has ears. Who is this? And more importantly, what is it? Now I'm always wondering when like there's this much orange or this much color on a mechanical pencil, if it actually like writes in that color. It's a mustache. I don't know why I always get my hopes up. They're always crushed. Be orange. I really like mechanical pencils personally because you don't have to sharpen them. The biggest flaw of a mechanical pencil is like how small the eraser is and how quickly I seem to go through it. Is this another mechanical pencil? Wait. Oh, is this one of those like friction pens? So it's basically an erasable pen and you can actually use like a hair dryer to make it disappear if I remember correctly. So let's see. I wonder if it writes in purple or blue. <gasps> it's purple. There's some little glitter flecks. I actually draw in pen quite a bit when I'm trying to be like loose in the warmy uppy because you can't like focus on too many details. <laughs> Anyway, we should probably try the little eraser, eh? It actually does erase. I thought there was a way to make it like reappear too, but I had no such luck last time I tried. Let's take a look at what else is inside. This looks like it's the washi tape. Oh no, there's still a real roll. Okay, so these are some masking tape seals. So they're like little tiny slices of washi tape. And we have quite a few designs. And I think it said there's two sheets of each. So I guess that means we have two designs of each. Yep. There are two of them. Mm -hmm. This would be really nice if you have like a little book that you write letters in or something, because then you can like keep these in there without having to have like a separate washi tape roll that doesn't fit inside the pages, you know? I would be too afraid to waste each of them because you get like two of each design. I'm trying to be less of a hoarder, okay? And like use the things that bring me joy instead of like hoarding them, you know? All right, let's see what our little uh, washi tape looks like this month. So I think every single month comes with one full roll of washi tape. And this month's design looks like New Year's lanterns. Let's open it up though. Here we go, we're getting in. Oh, there it is. So here's our washi tape and apparently it's intended to be used vertically. So I will do just that. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of different designs on here. Woo, that is really cute. I love the little shrimpy. All right, next up, looks like more of those New Year's decorations. These feel like little tags. So you can stick it in one of those like notebooks that has the pocket in the front. You can stick that part in the pocket and then you have this as its own page that you can then use the sticky notes. I love the size and shape of them. I like the faint color on the design because you can probably write on that really well, even with this light purple pen. Eggs. 
<laughs> it's so cute. I love that it looks like a little tag. What does that mean? Do they say? Omamori are Japanese lucky charms or amulets commonly sold at Shinto shrines or Buddhist temples. Inside the color pouch are prayers or sacred inscriptions. Well, now I feel like I blasphemed. They're writing eggs, milk, and bread. The omamori is the little pouch. And then you put the prayers inside of it. Okay. All right. We have two things left in here. This one reminds me of the first thing we opened. So it could it be ink? No. I do not think that is ink. <laughs> the color of your Daruma represents good luck and fortune, purity, school success, education and work status, health and fitness, self-improvement and personality, love and romance. And I got the purity one. Fitting. These are a traditional Japanese doll that has become a symbol of perseverance and luck in Japan. Make a wish and then draw the left eye on your Daruma san eraser. When your wish comes true, you can draw in the other eye. So do I have to make a pure wish? I'm gonna make my wish. The last thing in the box is the block memo pad. So these are four designs inside this memo pad. So you have a pink one with that same circular design. Oh, they're like mermaids or something. Then there's one with sushi. That's a little disconcerting. The one with the three talking fish dogs, I guess. Dare I explore this further? It's actually pronounced Amabia. This legendary mermaid with three legs rose out of Japan's folklore depths and became our unofficial mascot to fight COVID-19. That's crazy. I somehow figured out I was a mermaid even though I had legs and then I called it a dog. Okay, I, I take it back. The folktale goes that Amabie warned of a plague, but that it could be prevented by sharing drawings of its likeness. Take that COVID, watch. How many does that count for? <laughs> There's something else in here. I always get tricked. The little pencils, they like to hide from me. I like that this is a pentagon. Oh wait, six sides. It's a B depth and it's got characters from the Rilakkuma. It's time to relax with cute cats. That's not a bad motto. I know what sharpener to use. My Hello Kitty Piano. Beautiful. It should be a lot softer than this one's graphite. So we'll see if it looks darker. Definitely does. Let's give her some claws. All right, we can definitely take some like color inspiration from these guys. Maybe some of the patterns. I really like the circle design. Oh, there was this cool thing with like the different little small sketches. We have the stamp. I could try stamping it. Should I do like alcohol ink? Would that even work? Oh wait, it might have had ink. <gasps> oh, I feel stupid. I hope I didn't destroy it. <laughs> it's not really working. I should have tried it. You know what it probably is? It's, it's water-based ink and I just put alcohol ink on it. <laughs> oh. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. Bye. <laughs> all right, so now this is usually the part of the video where I try to take some inspiration from all this stuff. I love the design on this, really beautiful. I wish it drew a little darker. Let's just kind of sketch a face. I feel like I should draw these uh, three-legged mermaid things. The story of those kind of feels kind of relevant, you know? Shoulders. This pen's growing on me. I love the glitter. I wonder what happens when you go over this with alcohol marker. Does it pick it up or does it leave it? Kind of looks like it's not doing anything. <gasps> That'd be cool because then we can kind of use it as a line art. Like I'm testing it more than once because I just wanted to make sure. Sometimes I am misled. Probably use a different color than that. Something more purple. It's holding its own really well. Not much is changing with these colors. It does look like it kind of faded the line art, but it didn't really bleed out, which is interesting. Or is it just drawing darker because I'm going on top of it while it's sort of wet? Either way, interesting effect. And some freckles. I could do a fun, like, big poofy coat. Sort of like 1950s kind of style. Some gloves. <laughs> Probably should make them high heels. 
So it's like your grandmother, maybe your great grandmother. I don't know how old are people these days. It has nothing to do with the rest of the box. I just felt like doing it. It's a little 1940s-ish too. I've been having fun looking on Pinterest at like old uh, sewing patterns and looking at like the fashion illustrations on like, like the envelope. A little pastime of mine. I'm really loving the look of the BV000, which is iridescent mauve along with this pilot pen. I think that's just a really cute, very pastel kind of combination. And I'm just kind of just drawing these for my own thing. When your brain tells you to draw something, you listen. Maybe give her an umbrella, just so I can pull this arm out. Throw in a little more of this. It does look like it lifts the pen a little bit. But then if you go over it again, it comes back. What's weird is that it doesn't like smudge it around. Just draw this little guy <laughs> with his magic wand. <laughs> there you go. Mm, my brain is clearly someplace else right now. I need to focus, which I'm really not doing. I've been really kind of investing a little bit of time into my little Roswell characters and uh, they take place in the 1940s. So I guess it's not completely out of left field here, but not really what I was meant to be doing right now. Does anyone else like just drawing like these little tiny guys? You see details in them that you didn't even mean to put there, but they just kind of show up. I don't know what it is. Makes them a lot of fun too, cause like you don't really think too hard. Do I have something like slightly darker than this? Let's see if this one's too dark. No, no, I think that works. I'm gonna make these pants darker then. And the tie. I love that look with the like really pale purples and the pale purple pen. And they're kind of desaturated and grayish. All right, we're supposed to be doing like New Year theme, not 70 years ago. <laughs> what we could do is take some inspiration from this color scheme, which I really like. The pinks, the turquoise, the yellows, the purples. And we could probably get away with using this. This looks quite a bit like sardonyx to me. Oh, actually this is too orange. Maybe it's more of like a tender pink. That is too vibrant. Oh, there it is. And then there's like a turquoise and a little too green, but I might hold on to that because I don't think I have something better. I feel like those two together would probably be good. And then a purple, which I have a purple. And maybe we'll skip the yellow because it's not even that visible. Let's try bringing in these colors and drawing a three-legged mermaid. Maybe what I'll do is I'll try and draw my own three-legged mermaid. Then we'll Google it and see what like other artist interpretations of it is. And then uh, maybe draw it again after that. <laughs> Could be a bad idea. So we have the head, the ears, a bit of eyes. I might give her bigger eyes than that. Oh, it's like more like a fish face. I really like this one actually. Let me take that. I like the little wave patterns. Like it works really well if you're writing like notes and you can keep them straight. It's a fish, but I'm giving it eyebrows. I mean, it has hair. So uh, there you go. <laughs> give it big eye. I should have started the small like these guys so I could uh, Get somewhere slowly instead of diving in so big. Okay, that's going way too sharp. <laughs> Try to figure out how to draw this section. Give her shoulders, that might be a good idea. Here, let's try this. How's this for an interpretation? So Jana got like a sort of tulipy dress shape and then three legs can come from there. Maybe I'll connect this with like a turtlenecky sort of thing with this sort of scale design. I'll just throw those on there. Throw in some of the pink hair. Distract myself from how weird this is turning out. Maybe I'm being a little creeped out. I don't know. It's okay. Now the skin is like a, these are white. This one's more of like an off white. Try this. This, that might work. Actually, that looks too yellow. And we have yellow fluorite. Oh wait, the ears are supposed to be the blue color. Oh, my lucky eraser just fell off the desk. I might use this to add a little blush under the eyes. I'm loving the color scheme. Like it fits together really well. Maybe because I stole it. <laughs> that tends to work out, doesn't it? Fill in those eyes, they look creepy. Okay, we just need like three little leggies. Kind of looks like a Pokemon. Like the ones that I would never catch. I'm really nervous about this part. We'll just put in like some feet, I guess. With toes. Oh, it didn't need toes. 
Okay, so she's got two left feet and one right foot. Okay, well, you know what? Give me a little break. I've never drawn a three-footed character at all. <laughs> what color are the feet? They're like yellow. I might just grab the skin tone first. That's plenty yellow. Plenty yellow. Oh, well, this was interesting. Now I'm going to kind of Google them. There they are. These are cute! I didn't know they were supposed to be like cute. I really like that one. This is what I was kind of picturing. <laughs> but I think I want to follow the cute way. So that seems to be most people's preference anyway. I'm also going to try and draw it smaller first. So we want like a big round head maybe. A little body. And our three feet. Look at it, really big ears. Little mouth, little eyes. A little more circly eyes. I feel like that's more a little animal-y. What if we do like a toothless sort of big smile? And then big hair. Oh my gosh. And then we'll add like scales. <laughs> it looks like corn on the cob. But I do want to throw the colors in. I really like the way the colors look on top of the purple pen. It has a very storybook kind of illustrative vibe to it that I really like. Yellow face, greenish ears. That's really cute to me. Give it a little bit more of like a rainbow fish. They still make a book? <laughs> okay, definitely got the colors down. We just gotta get the design right. Look at the magnitude of improvement. Let's try another one. I really like the round head. Maybe we'll give it a little more line of action, little body. Should we try a bit more of like a koi fish sort of vibe for the feet? I don't know, I kind of want mine to look like they could stand up on them maybe. I also want much bigger eyes. Big round eyes. Let's give her cross-eyed. Kind of does have a very penguin-y vibe that I'm digging. Maybe more of like a fin. Kind of thinking more of like a seal. I just feel like it needs like a little arm like there, you know, and like there. Maybe not. I definitely need the big ears. Now what if we have the hair come around this way? Is that interesting? I'm gonna have the hair go straight backwards. I actually kind of like elements of this one better. We need more of that like round head. And I'm gonna Google some fish to kind of get the scales a little nicer because I don't think those are quite where I want them. I wish I had those koi fish that I drew a couple months ago. I might have just like sort of added in some here and there and then used color to kind of find the scales. It doesn't say anything about arms, but it also didn't say that there were no arms. Does that mean it's my choice? <gasps> I do want to color it, but I also want to draw it again. So we'll just do this kind of quickly. Actually, why would I do this quickly? This is my favorite part right now. <laughs> yellow feet. Maybe these things can be yellow. Then we'll fade into this green to the ears. And this is all green. Fade into it there. A little bit darker for some of these faded in with the lighter color. Yeah, that might be the best way to do it. Have a more subtle scale texture. <laughs> now the pink. Guess it just goes for all the hair. Now it might just be the miniature speaking, but I think I kind of like that one better, which means I need to find a way to morph what I like best about both of them into one. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like when you find a cute Pokemon and then you evolve it and you're like, oops. All right, what I think I like better about this one is the way the head becomes the body, whereas this one, they look like two separate pieces. So let's try again. I wonder if I can draw it sitting. How would one even begin to be sack of flower it? You try making the legs a little longer. Maybe I like the smaller eyes actually, but I guess I gotta roll with this one for now. <laughs> Beautiful. Maybe add scales at the bottom of this piece. So it's more like a skirt looking thing. Maybe we'll keep the hair a little toned and down. Like this one, it's only as long as the body. So maybe drawing with pencil would have been smart here. I wanna add color. Okay, so this is the hair before I forget. And there, I don't think any other hair shows except at the very top. Maybe a little there. And then these are yellow. The light green first. And then we go into the more turquoise color. Kind of layer it in some other places. Can I add a little texture that way too? And add a little green to the end of the yellow feet. Definitely my favorite. I think I do like the slightly longer legs. Now I just want bigger ears so that the hair doesn't distract from it. Let's try another one. I like the idea of kind of like 
drawing one big rectangle for it and then maybe scales at the bottom. Maybe something like this. That's a way of doing it. Try the big eyes again. Some scales. So then I want the ears to stick out like way out here so that the hair can kind of come between that and the head. Maybe end it right about here. This one's way cuter. What did I do differently? Maybe color will make a difference. Oh, I didn't add blush. Blush does make a difference. It might just be the pose I don't like. I'm trying to assess the situation so we can improve on it. Current favorite is this one, which is good news because it means we moved past that one being my favorite. So I just need to find a way to replicate that guy. You know what I should probably be doing is assuming that it's swimming and not standing on its feet because then I can do more of those sort of things. <laughs> okay, we redeem the face. Oh, I like it a lot better now. Scales, follow the line of action with the direction of those. We also want the ears to be really big. Just draw these big shapes first. Maybe the hair can kind of come this way. If I was drawing a person, it'd be like that kind of went this way. What if we try the like koi fish kind of vibe? Mm, no, I don't like that. Let's try and fix the ears. I forgot this is an erasable pen. Oh my gosh. I could have been fixing things. I thought it was It's okay. Things happen. I kind of want like one foot to come up like this. And we can have one foot kind of come in this way. I feel like they need to be thicker than that to kind of follow the proportions of the rest of the body. I do like the thicker, wider legs. So if I do like the same thing I just did, but with something wider. I feel like this one needs to be more pointy. Go more squid-like and shorten this leg. Hey, now that I can race, I gotta make this a little bit better, you know? Anyway, let's add some color now before I continue to erase forever. Start with the yellow. I wonder if they're erasable after you put alcohol marker on them. Might not be. There's not really room for blush, but we'll maybe just draw like a little line here. Still on the ends of the feet. Green again for the body. And add in the darker blue turquoise color for a couple of these spots. Little bubbles. What a cute yokai. Oh my gosh. Take a little purple and we'll go around our favorite ones. I like this one still. Our first cutie patootie. Give it some hearts. Let's try something. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Gotta leave room for the forehead, which I keep forgetting. There we go, three legs, right? Three legs. And we need hair. What if we come like this way? Like I wanna redo that face because I'm liking the sketch more than I thought I was going to. Maybe get a little more expression. Oh, we forgot the ears. Nice big ones. Gotta find a way to come out of this hair. Ooh. Okay, let's add in some colors. Even though it's erasable, like the eraser's really thick so I can't like erase the hair from behind there. What I probably can do is once we go over it with the color, go back over with the pen, and just draw the important lines back in in that area. And then the hair. Brush nib probably preferred here. Cute, that one turned out nice too. Should I fill one in in that space too? We gotta draw as many as possible in case the legend is true. This one's a bit more of a jellyfish idea. Lots of like stringy pieces on this one. <laughs> Let's color that in. I wish I didn't use so much real estate for that guy. That's funny, my two least favorite are the biggest. <laughs> oh, and I forgot I was going to go over this area. There we go, we got hair. Let's add more bubbles everywhere because we're underwater. Put on the darker purple, I do have a darker purple. I'm gonna use this purple and add a little shading to the, it's like the, one, the back leg, you know? See what that does. I want to do this like pattern. Why does that look so dark now? I thought this was lighter than that. <laughs> Interesting little pattern at the bottom there. I think we redeemed ourselves. I love these. I'm really happy to have had you come along with me on our little uh, Amabie journey. That was right, right? 
think. Amabie? Amabi. Anyway, big thanks to you guys for watching and making it to the end of the video. And another big thank you to Zen Pop for sending this box my way. If you want to find out more about Zen Pop subscriptions, I will have a link in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!